What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, I decided to build a Omniwheel robot which can move in many directions compared to normal robot due to the special wheels that they have. So without further ado, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Brilliant. More about them later on the video. We have to do several steps for this project. First, we need to make the Omni wheel along the main body, which is the main goal of this project. Second, we need to make the controller board. Third, we give the robot a better look with the new pixel display. Then we must write the robot codes and build a web server to control the robot. And finally, our robot is ready. To build this project, we use 3DC motors with gearbox, an ESP8266 board and two motor drivers. I also use the NeoPixel LED module to make the robot more interesting. To begin with, let's start making the wheels. While the wheels are being printed, let's answer a few questions together. What is an Omni wheel bot? The Omni wheel bot is a type of robot that uses wheels with rollers mounted on them. These wheels allow the robot to move in any direction, including sideways and diagonally. How do Omni wheel bots work? Omniwheel bots work by using multiple Omniwheels that are mounted on the robot in different directions. By controlling the speed and direction of each wheel, the robot can move in any direction. Applications of Omniwheel bots Omniwheel bots have many applications in various fields. For example, they can be used in manufacturing plants to transfer goods or in warehouse to move items around. They can also be used in search and rescue missions, where they can move easily through debris and rubble. Well, now that our wheels are ready, let's take a look at them and go to the next step. Now it's time to make the controller board. All the parts to control the robot are placed in this board. Input in 1 to 4 of the motor driver are connected to the GPIOs of our microcontroller. Each driver is capable of controlling two motors, so we have to use two drivers to control three motors. Inside the codes you can see that by defining the pins that are connected to the driver as outputs, we can control the rotation direction of motors by changing the status of these pins between high and low. Our controller circuit is ready. Of course, we will add additional parts such as matrix display later. We have different options for the matrix display, such as matrix display with 7290 max chip or the TTGO matrix display. Because I have little space to use the display, I use the NeoPixel display. These NeoPixel modules have four pins that we use. D in, D out, which are used for data input and data output to connect more modules, as well as power supply pins. Also, I printed a thin sheet of filament to use as a light diffuser, in order to give our robot a better look at the end. Now let me tell you about the sponsor of this video, Brilliant. What do you do if you want to learn something new? A book, maybe an online course, but none of them give you the experience and the possibility to test the things that you learned. Until now, of course. Brilliant.org is the best way to learn math and computer science interactively. Brilliant has thousands of lessons from foundational and advanced math to AI, programming, science, engineering, and more with new lessons added monthly. Brilliant helps keep your programming skills sharp, while letting you dive deeper into advanced topics to expand your understanding and give you an edge in your career. Each course is designed for high-velocity learning, to help you stay focused and reach your goals fast. To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash cyphertech or click on the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% of Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Well, let's go back to making our robot. Well, now it's time to build a web server. Our web server is a simple HTML code that is placed inside our main code in Arduino IDE. The web server you can see was created in my first attempt. It is not very beautiful, it just works. 
but when I put it in my Telegram channel so that the others can use it, some of my followers made better versions of it and sent it to me. And by combining them, I reached this final result. I think it's much better now. Now that the web server is ready, we have to assemble the robot and start coding so that our robot can move in all directions. First, I started testing the DC motors to make sure there was no problem. Of course, one of the DC motors makes too much noise, but it doesn't affect the movement of the robot. So let's check how our robot moves. For example, I use this code to move the robot forward. The digital write function is used to send a digital signal to the pins that are connected to the motor driver. In this case, A1 and A2 pins are set to high and low respectively, which means that the left motor is rotated in one direction, while B1 and B2 pins are set to high and low respectively, which means that the right motor is rotated in the same direction as the left motor. Lastly, A3 and A4 pins are set to low, which means that the left motor is stopped while the right motor continues to rotate, allowing the robot move forward in a straight line. And we use this logic to code all the movement of the robot. Our robot is almost ready. I need to do few small things and then we can see the final result and test it. And that's it for today's video, thanks for watching, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel for more content like this. And I see you guys in the next video.